website on the uh, uh, alert. I have both uh, Bacchus and Tester's uh, uh, phone numbers to say what is going on up there, and, and they say our congressional, excuse me, our senatorial delegation is aware of this. No, they're not. They do nothing. Uh, we also have uh, Brian Schweitzer, who, by the way, is a very strong state rights guy, probably one of, the, in my opinion, the leading governors in America who is fighting for state rights. He understands the global grasp for water, Alex, minerals. It's all about money, okay? It's a power it's grab. We're being occupied. A, they think we're rotten and weak and decadent, and they're just occupying us right out in the open, thinking if they just go about their business like it's no big deal, we'll accept it. Well, yes, and also, by the way, it's divide and conquer. And, and let me go back to it. Balkanization. Gee, who knows better about balkanization than the troops that were involved in all the different civil wars and U.N. police actions than those who were balkanized, okay? That's the story of the American police force. That's why they pulled down the website. Please, everybody, go and look at my photo of the day. Alex, you're welcome to use it, take it. There's All those things are, are absolutely, you know... Uh, That's right. You've got it saved. For those that don't know, recap... Foreign mercenary group admitted shows up with black SUVs. The the mayor he's got a different name there. The the county head of that area it's called the selectman or something. He was on they, they erased it off the news channel too. They didn't just pull American police force. They pulled the local news channel. They don't even say the story's gone. It's just gone. Uh, we got all these videos we're trying to grab right now. And they're there coming, driving around doing police work with hardened police next to their American police force logos. The locals are saying, why are you here? I mean, this is insane. And then you've confirmed they go, they're going to locals saying, we have a list of your guns. You have to mark them for us and do what? They have to turn them. They have to bring them in and have them marked, okay? They put chips in them, okay? Oh, interesting. All the warnings, the alerts, and the jumping up and down and screaming we've done about the RFID technology. And now in little old Hardin, Montana, or in little old towns in Wyoming, this is happening too, not just in Montana, Wyoming, but any place that is sparsely occupied. We're getting reports from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Greg Evenson's gone into detail with me. We're getting reports from different places in Indiana. By the way, also, warehouses, everyone, listen to me. The place Places that are being configured from within are large, 50, 100,000 square warehouses, whether they're in Reno, Las Vegas, all of the major cities. That's what they're doing, Alex. And they FEMA admits they're retrofitting under tabletop and NLE 09, sports stadiums and other holding facilities. Look at Katrina. The first thing the troops did was not bring food and water, but go in the high and dry areas. Citizens that were taking care of their property and take their guns and beat the hell out of them. They were beta testing the troops to see if they'd do it. We'll be right back. Thomas Jefferson once said, when the people fear their government, there is tyranny. When the government fears the people, there is liberty. Our God-given right to life and liberty and the right to determine what is best for our lives and our family's health are in jeopardy. If we the people do not diligently assert these rights, they may be taken away and lost forever. Utopia Silver is known for fighting for health freedom, and we will not meekly allow ourselves to be led as lambs to the slaughter, sitting passively by. And accepting the chains of slavery that are being placed on America is not an option. Please stand with Utopia Silver in this fight. Utopia Silver carries some of the most effective colloidal silver products on the market and numerous other high-quality health supplements. Visit us today at utopiasilver.com. That's U-T-O-P-I-A, utopiasilver.com. Or call us today at 1-888-213-4338. 4338 one our beloved republic is on her knees. The forces of globalism are destroying national sovereignty worldwide. But in liberty's darkest hour, there is hope. For the first time in modern history, the people are beginning to wake up. It is essential that patriots worldwide accelerate their fellow man's understanding of the New World Order Master Plan. We have a short time frame to fully awaken and energize the people to meet this threat. In the Info War, PrisonPlanet.tv is a powerful weapon in the battle to regain our freedom. PrisonPlanet.tv is a vault of forbidden information. All 18 of my documentary films can be downloaded or streamed in super high quality directly to your computer or iPhone and shared with others. Thousands of special video reports, from tainted vaccines to martial law, can be found in this online video library. My weekly news television broadcast, thousands of exclusive audio interviews, and so much more. The Info War is waiting for you to set it free. Join PrisonPlanet.tv. Burn the info bombs to disk. Put them on the file sharing networks. Bring down the new world order. PrisonPlanet.tv. 
Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones here to tell you about Cal Bend Soap. My staff and I just love the old-fashioned, pure, handmade soap produced by the Cal Bend Soap Company, a family-owned and operated American company that's over 62 years old. Go to 5starsoaps.com or click on their link at Infowars.com. They have been a longtime sponsor of ours. Calvin Soaps meet the highest standards of quality, purity, and value. Everyone should use their great line of products. I consistently hear from my listeners and friends how much they love the Calvin Pure Soap products. Check out their whole line of bath, hair, laundry, and dish soap and more at 5starsoap.com. There is nothing like these factory direct, big money saving, triple concentrated soaps anywhere. Don't take my word for it. Get a free detailed catalog by calling toll-free 1-800-340-7091 or check them out online at 5starsoap.com. Again, go to 5starsoap.com and just try their products. You're going to love them. You will never use anything else again. No one knows what it's like. Steve Quayle is going to be with us another 20 minutes into the next hour. We're going to be taking your calls. Steve Quayle, I know he doesn't want the credit, but he gets the credit. Last Friday, calling me frantically before he even put out his email alert Sunday, saying there are mercenaries, they're policing people, they're intimidating, they're talking to him about their guns. And I was getting the messages and didn't call him back. I meant to. I just get so much going on. It's like I'm in a batting cage with 100 balls flying at me every minute, trying to swing at them all, finishing up. The Charlie Sheen situation with 9-11, finishing up this phase, finishing up Fall of the Republic. It's now on pre-sale at Infowars.com. And then I see the local newscast and everything, and all the pieces went, whoa. Uh, if you just joined us, we're going to go to phone calls here in just a moment. You say the locals are getting angry and upset. I mean, they have the local community leader, the mayor, on on the news saying, we don't know why they're running the camp. We don't know what it's for. We don't know why they're saying there are police now. I mean, this is on so many fronts. And then you add the part about bring your guns in. We've got to mark them. I mean, this is this is Red Dawn. Red Dawn, and I, but I think it's Red Dawn for the whole country, not just hard in Montana, okay? Because, again, the thing is, is that I, I don't think people get it, okay? The northern borders are being shut off. Ladies and gentlemen, most people, as things break loose, and Alex, on you know, obviously Texas and New Mexico, Arizona, California, uh, Florida, the entire Gulf Coast, you know, is, is uh, going to be a, a landing zone. But I don't think people realize it, that it's already anticipated that most Americans who will want to flee the tyranny. And by the way, this is an open joke in the international espionage community. It's an open joke that the Americans have bragged about freedom and liberty and their Second Amendment rights, and I've heard them go to me, but it is happening under your right before your eyes, Steve. This is a guy that speaks Russian, very good English, okay? He says, you wonder how we could put up with it. Look what's going to happen to you. And, and Alex, that I, I can't argue, okay? The, the thing that you've got to know, too, this is just coming in from a military source. All military medical training, Army, Air Force, Navy, Marines, is being moved to San Antonio. Because and it's being moved out of all the D.C. area and other target cities. So I'm telling you, point blank, we are going to see a false flag event. I don't know if it's tied in with the Israeli-Iran thing. I don't know. But I'm telling you this, it's not just going to be a single issue. It's going to be multiple issues concurrently going off at the same time. Steve, uh this is so incredible. We found a bunch of YouTube videos of this giant federally FEMA-built center. The locals say we don't know why foreign mercs are manning it or posing as police. We're going to get those added to Paul Watson's story that's on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. We're going to post that again as our top story. Uh, I want to go to some phone calls now from people that say they have specific intel on this or other similar areas. Uh, Steve in Texas, you're on the air with Steve Quayle. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, Alex. Uh, I want to let you know, and Steve also, um, I actually, once I saw this article on your site and heard your report and I watched the video and everything, I actually got the information. I, I just I sent you a fax about an hour ago because I couldn't get through. I called the uh, Bighorn County, Montana Sheriff's Department, and I'll give you that number again if you want it. I had it on the fax. But I talked to a woman that works directly with the head sheriff. She said he wasn't in today. And I brought this up, and when I politely mentioned to her, I was very polite, uh, that uh, of being made aware of the 
APF invasion of Harden, she immediately responded, it's fake. I said, what? She said, it's fake. I said, ma'am, I saw the newscast there. They have vehicles there with this logo on there saying Harden Police. She said, well, that's been taken off the vehicles as if that made it okay. And I just told her politely, I said, ma'am, I want you to please let the sheriff know he's sworn an oath to uphold the Constitution. He, what this is is a violation of his jurisdiction.